One of my most popular videos here on YouTube is my mother's recipe for her classic no-bake lemon cheesecake. Today I'm going to present to you a special variation of it, which is just so amazing, so delicious, still no-bake, and you are going to love it. Let's make some strawberry cheesecake on The One Pot Chef. <music> First we're going to make the base of the cheesecake and I'm using crushed up cookies. Now I've used 250 grams of milk arrowroot biscuits, they're just plain sweet cookies here in Australia. If you're in America you can use something like graham crackers, if you're in the UK digestive biscuits will be fine. And to that I'm adding 200 grams of butter which I've just melted in the microwave. Now I know that sounds like a lot of butter and it is a little bit, but try to remember this cheesecake serves something like 8 to 10 people so it's not really that much when you think about it and just mix it all together until it looks a bit like wet sand. I've got a large springform tin here which I'm going to be using for the cheesecake and I'm just going to pour a biscuit mixture in and using a flat bottom glass we're just going to press down the centre and work your way outwards and then just push the crumbs up the side slightly and just place this into the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes to chill while we work on our cream cheese mixture. In the mixing bowl I've got two packets of Philadelphia style cream cheese, about 500 grams, and to that I'm adding a 400 gram can of sweetened condensed milk. Now you'll see I'm using the big mixer today, you can use a small hand mixer if you prefer, but I just find when I'm making cheesecake it's usually a big job and I love using the big old Kenwood. And just beat them together until they're smooth and combined. Now I'm adding in half a cup of lemon juice, a little bit at a time, and then beating it in. So just add a small amount in, beat it in, keep going, add a bit more. Now I get asked this a lot, you do need to use lemon juice, you can use gelatin instead, but I, never th I think it never has the right taste or the right consistency when you use gelatin. That's why I always use the lemon juice, because it's a great setting agent. And because we're adding the strawberries in, the lemon doesn't have a whole lot of flavour in this. So beat this in. You'll notice the lemon juice has already started to work its magic. It's already started to thicken up and increase in volume quite a lot. So it's quite thick now. Now we're going to add in our strawberries, 250 grams of strawberries, which I have just chopped up into little chunks. Now you can puree it in a blender or something if you like, and just add it in as such. But I like to do it in chunks because that way it gets beaten and sort of pureed a bit by the beaters. But also you get a few little chunks of strawberry all through, which is always good. And so we'll just beat that together for another few minutes until everything is combined. And that's looking absolutely gorgeous. It's almost like marshmallow. It's got that beautiful sort of pink colour to it. Little chunks of strawberry all through it. So let's transfer this into our cheesecake tin. Just place the cream cheese mixture into our waiting tin. and our strawberry cheesecake is ready to go into the fridge. Now I recommend putting it into the fridge for a minimum of six hours, preferably longer, just to make sure it's properly set, and then we'll be ready to serve. Our strawberry cheesecake has set and it's looking absolutely gorgeous, so let's have a slice. Let's have a taste. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's like being hit with a wall of strawberries. Absolutely gorgeous. The cheesecake on top is creamy and it's got that beautiful sort of sweet tartness from the strawberries and the lemon. And got that lovely cookie base underneath. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.